Hi everybody, this is Julie again. I'm back from Life on the Scrappy Side. Um, I'm going to show you the album that I made so far. I haven't finished it. I've uh, nowhere near finished it, but I didn't want to take the time to finish it because it's the middle of December and I wanted to get this kit online for you to see because there are some people who have been waiting for it. Um, so I wanted to get it online for you to purchase in case you wanted to start it before Christmas or give it as a gift or whatever. Um, anyway, I started mine and um, I named it Sprinkled with Love. I struggled, you know, with what to call it, of course, but when it revolves around family and special times, you're always picky about what you do, what you call things. So um, I named it, ended up naming it with Sprinkled with Love, and I took glittered white stickers and just stuck them on pink textured cardstock and cut them out. And then I put the word love on a double layered um, glittered paper cut out of ovals and stuck a little heart down here with a, with a piece of pink bling on it. Um, here in the center with the rose um, and the white uh, rick rack that I couldn't find it saved my life to put in your kit. So if I do find some before I send these out, I definitely will put them in your kit. Um, I live in, in Elizabeth City, so it's a very small town, and all we really have here is Walmart, and it's not the best Walmart. It might be the biggest on the East Coast, but it's definitely not the best. But anyway, um, I will try to find it. I'm going to be making a trip to Virginia, so I am definitely going to try my best to put that glittered white writ rack. It's Christmas time, so it may be hard to find it. Anyway, I just put a couple of the glittered um, leaves in the background. On, on a, I put my... Um, Rick Rack behind my red rose. It's a paper rose. Um, and there's a ve the velvet flower that's in the kit is in the background. It's behind on the back. I smooshed my rose up a little bit, moving it around. The background paper is the Christmas trees, of course. And then I did the red satin bow over here. And I put the candy cane that comes in the kit. Only this one's green. They come different colors in your kits. And then the three jingle bells on a garment pin here. And then the, the beads along the edge of the ribbon. Um, I cut out the different colored paper. I want to point this out because this album does go, like I said, from around 6 inches to 12. So you may want to layer your papers and not have just one big same color piece of paper. So I layered here a different, the stripe. And I did a Martha Stewart punch, edge punch on the edge there. And turned out really pretty. And I did the same thing over here, only I did it you know, the border on both sides instead. And then I lined it over here with the, the white rick rack and the pink and the red that comes in the kit. The little snowman um, on the front there, I'm sorry. I could not get enough of those to put in the kits, and I am. I am terribly sorry that I could not put them in the kits. So um, he's not in the kit, but um, I think I put some pretty cool charms in there as it was. Um, not as cool as him, though, huh? I'm so sorry. Uh, this is a page that I printed off my computer. I put it all this together. It was not together at all, as I did this whole kit, actually, which is why it took me probably so long to do it. But um, anyway, these borders over here, they are pockets. There's room for um, things to go in. And how you like my little cute gingerbread girl here? <laughs> she is so adorable. Um, I'll show you her in a sec. And then I just put the double bordered piece of uh, paper over here that has the snowflakes, cut it out, and this is a piece of lacy ribbon, um, ribbon I guess you could call it. Um, I'm not finished with it, so the first page I wanted to do a family type of a thing, so, oops, sorry. Um, I couldn't figure out what to do with it, so I've just got the cotton lace on there for now. But this is the first, this is the first page of the album. This page cover here I made extra because I wanted to have a full 12 inch on the front of my album. So you can do that if you want. Um, if you have chipboard, you can cut a 12 by 12 piece down to 6 by 12 and make your a front cover to cover the whole album. Or you can use the back piece to cover the front of the album. It works, would work very nicely. And then your album would only go from 12 to, I think it's like 11 and a half or something. It would be just as pretty. And I don't know if I mentioned in the kit video, but these albums come in either white or brown. And they are the same color on both sides of the, of the pages. Um, right here I did a 
um, well, it's a pocket and it's a, um, it opens up. I use the brown and blue, the brown dotted blue light turquoise ribbon here in the grow green. I made a button corsage. That was the word I was trying to think of in the video. Um, a button corsage and put on a layer of the flowers here that you have all this in your kit. And then I did a little button corsage up here. I could not, I'm looking for some brown buttons. I'll have to find some. But I did not put a brown one. I put a beige color in yours, but not the brown. And it's on this really cute paper I loved. Over here I did a heart. Um, this little tag that comes in the kit, I cut it out and put it on cardstock. And stuck my heart here, only stuck it partial because I wanted to put this behind it and got the little guy over here sticking out of here and all this is some of its dimensional um, and then there's a paper border down here and the pink ribbon that goes all the way around this page now this page I wanted to point out is made out of one of the envelopes and I did that because the um, trying to see if I can find one the recipe cards that are included in the kit they fit perfectly in these um, in these envelopes and I had struggled and struggled for um, you know what to do whether to do manila folder envelopes or whatever to do things like to put like special little recipes like one of grandma's or they fit in there nicely and um this is where i told you to put you could put the oval tags right here on the end so that you could label what it is if it's something special um anyway i cut out uh, ovals in the paper to frame it and uh, put the little girl and guy there. This is the this is one of my favorites and I of course I put stickers on where you see the glitter at and this is the cookie jar and I had to double layer it because I started off doing this with um, embossing powder and I I'm not the best at embossing I'm just just not good at it. I've tried it several times and I'm just not very good at it. Messed it up so I had to double layer it. But anyway, it turned out really cute that way. And then here's the recipe tags. I got a couple stuck in there. And um, got the little blue, a pink, and a green. It's uh, sitting on top of those oval cardstock pieces there. And got the blue ribbon with the brown polka dots over here. And then on this page here, the last one that I have, it's not finished, but um, there it is and it has the the tag with the little guy that comes in the kit he's stuck on the tag there i just stuck him in there i'm not finished him either and made pockets out of this and then put the, a layered flower here um and then this little guy here and then this this was a card actually so i took the card and i turned the corner down and then i uh left a piece of this out straight across and i punched it with the martha stewart edge punch and there again, I layered my paper again. It just makes it more interesting. And I put the red rack right over here on the, on the edge. And that's all I have done of mine for now. Um, and I can't wait to get back to work on it, which is why I want to get this. Another reason I want to get this video on so I can do some stuff for myself and my family. But I wanted to show you this little gingerbread girl real cute. This is the cookie. And I took her and did some... Um, scallop circles and stuck them on there put a eyelet the flower eyelet that comes in the kit eyelet brad brad rather and just stuck it through there of course i've not edged it aged it or put lines on it yet but that turned out really really cute i thought and you can do the same thing with the star guy <laughs> these are so adorable i hope you enjoy this kit um as much as i have really even though it's been a ton of work i have really enjoyed doing it and I'm glad to get it done. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. and um, Or whoever receives it enjoys it. And um, I hope everybody has a really nice Christmas and really nice holiday season. And be safe and take care and enjoy your family and friends. And it's good, um, good talking to you. And I'm going to get off of here and go find something else to do. <laughs> Y'all have a good Christmas season. Bye.